A man was about to divorce, but suddenly won the lottery $25 million. But because he didn't want to divide that money with his wife, he had to pretend to be poor every day. At the beginning of the story, 30-year-old Santi is working part-time at the port. His job is clean waste on a cruise ship. On the way home from work, his car ran out of gas, so he had to walk. He went to his best friend Pedro's workplace to get free gas. Pedro said that their classmate attended a party tonight and the fat man, Marcos had come home from studying abroad and also attended. Pedro presents him with a new set of clothes. Santi and his wife, mate, are currently engaged in a divorce. The counselor says it will take at least three months to complete the process. The owner of grocery said that the probability of his wife's return was the same as that of his winning the lottery. Santi decided to try his luck. At the class meeting party, Santi imitated the look of an old friend without knowing that the fat boy before had become successfully lost his weight and was standing in front of him. Marcos returned from studying abroad and also opened a large-scale supermarket. He is also made secret lover. Frustrated Santi returned home immediately. The cigarette box containing the lottery ticket was thrown in the trash and be taken away by his wife. While taking a shower in the next day, Santi heard the news on television and knew that he had won a prize worth 25 million euros. Santi immediately ran to find in the garbage. As expected he is the big winner. Santi wants to say this to his wife. If he has money, then why would he get divorced? But he did not expect to see Maiden Marco sneaking in the car. When he went to exchange lottery tickets, Santi was invited by a bunch of financial experts. Bald man named Miguel even got into his car, Miguel also thanks to that that becomes Santi's own financial expert. He said that if Santi told his wife about winning the lottery, mate would be divided by half of that amount after the divorce. Losing his wife and losing money, he is not that stupid. At that moment he saw Maid and Marcos coming to dinner. Santi angrily took the flower pot to knock Marcos's car, took the car to scratch, and punctured the tire. Finished his vandalism, he found out that this is not Marcos's car. But it's okay, he is a man with money. The wife, seeing Santi unemployed, arranged for him a job in Marcos's supermarket. On the one hand, he pretends to work, on the other hand he is experiencing a life of wealth. Every day Santi has to pretend poverty in front of his wife so hard. In every evening, Santi has dinner at a luxury hotel. He did not know how to be luxurious by eating wrong the tissue. In his spare time, Santi and two friends go windsurfing and meet his wife and her lover here. Santi pays for some professional surfers to teach him. Then Santi also spent 40,000 euros to buy back the cruise ship that he worked on earlier and also forced his previous boss to dump waste. Every day Santi wakes up in a luxury hotel and he has his own driver takes him to the supermarket to work. While going to refuel, he accidentally met Pedro. Fortunately his car was high class, so the person outside could not see what the inside is. Santi and Miguel go together to buy clothes worth several thousand euros and meet two of his close friends. He had to hide his clothes in the trip. Seeing the pile of clothes worth a thousand euros being taken away by the laborers, Santi felt extremely uncomfortable. Parents-in-law suddenly came to visit, then he saw Santi's watch and knew it was very valuable. Santi quickly says that this is a fake. The father-in-law immediately gave him the money and told him to buy 10 of them for him to give his relatives. Santi couldn't stand but tell the truth that he and his wife were divorcing procedures. He thought that he was the happiest person in the world, but unexpectedly he felt extremely lonely. He has no one to share his enormous wealth, which is the difficult problem Santi has now. So Santi spends the money to make Pedro a model and receive a million euros from filming the commercial. Santi silently helps one other friend receive a million euros from a relative he even did not know. Santi thinks his friends will use the money to improve their lives, but unexpectedly they will use it to buy a race car. They take Santi along to enjoy. Santi tells them that it was him who won the big lottery and gave them the money to buy this car. The friends heard it was extremely agitated and drove the car into the sea. Santi's two friends are increasingly immersed in depravity. The relationship of him and his wife is also increasingly worse. Mate deliberately talks to Marcos in front of Santi, and on the contrary, Santi intentionally talks sweetly with another girl. But neither of them feel as happy as they thought. Although they still love each other, they still say words that hurt each other. The more they do so, the more they want the other to notice. This is the situation of them now. After some time, Marcos' supermarket appeared in crisis, so he decided to close the supermarket and fired all the staff. This is the opportunity that Santi has always been waiting for. He'd create a romantic candlelight dinner. 
They both reviewed the hardships of their nine-year marriage and apologized for their impulsive actions before. The two were extremely emotional and seemed like they would get along. Santi suddenly told his wife that he won 25 million euros and said that it was the couple's joint money. But Nate feels that her feelings are being deceived. She thinks that Santi is selfish when he did not want to share his money with her after the divorce. In the end, the two broke up unhappily. On the other hand, Santi did not expect that because of the money he gave his friend, his friend's family was on the verge of collapse. And Pedro becomes a joke online because of his commercials. The two friends both assumed it was all Santi's fault. Santi doesn't understand how it turned out like this. Santo finally understood. He went to Miguel and decided to give Nate half of the money and left alone. Nate was extremely surprised to receive the money, and at the same time she also received a marriage license from the delivery guy. Nate went to the supermarket and found out that all the staff had returned to work. Miguel got it all sorted out by Santi's instructions. It turns out that Santi bought Marcos' supermarket and franchise Nate. Nate quickly went to the airport to find Santi. She gave Santi a slap and said that he didn't expect her to change her mind when giving her that much money. Santi understands Nate's meaning and hugs her. His friend then had a happy life as well. Meanwhile, Marcos returns to being an obese man and loses everything. The movie here is the end. What would you do if you suddenly had such a large sum of money? Thank you for watching. Follow my page to watch more film review.